cálida bienvenida al nuevo manager. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another career mode that I am going to start right here. It's the Juan Labrada career mode, and yes, this team is the second division in the um, in the La Liga. They call it Smart Bank, I believe. So yeah, this is more of a glow, uh, road to glory career mode, and of course, it is going to be a long haul in terms of. Uh, the length of the career mode it's going to take like maybe four or five seasons in order to actually complete the project that I'm thinking about building and of course Creed Bratton I'm a huge office fan so he is going to take in charge he is going to be the new manager of the uh, CF Juan Abrada. and of course um, this career mode it is going to be a pretty difficult one we have a very very slim budget around 1.9 million or 1.9 million euros and this is going to be tough for sure. And looking at our objectives, thank God, nothing like there's nothing like crucial or high, which means everything could be pretty loose in terms of like signing discount players and that player. And of course, um, at the same time, this career mode is more about, of course, this ep wait, before that, this episode or this career mode is based on youth, um, youth power for sure. And of course, uh, in terms of youth power, Again, in the last career mode, uh, using Arsenal, haven't been actually using a lot of youth players except Jake Lawton. But of course, that he only appeared for like a couple of games for Arsenal, or maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more than that. But this career mode, we're gonna heavily uh, feature youth player. And of course, before we wanna do that, um, I was thinking about doing this kind of uh, in a club and country, but at the same time, kind of missing that opportunity at the same time where. Yes, my team, it's probably one of the weakest in the Smart Bank division. And look at that. I mean, just based on looking at the rating, the, uh, the average rating is about 64, 65. And of course, that one player that is look, uh, uh, you know, uh, noticeable for us, it's Otaveros. Uh, he's playing on the uh, left winger. And at the same time, I can see there's a lot of center backs in the team which means that, you know what, in order to make money, in order to make a profit on some of these players, I have decided to change the formation to potentially a three, four, one, two, or playing three at the back, but at the same time, kind of like, um, kind of like stuffing everybody in the middle, especially playing with the extra striker. And I believe if that's the case, um, our left back, I believe, uh, Valentino, I believe that's, that's his name. And also we have one right back as well. So in terms of the full backs area, we're not very, uh, we're not very, we don't have a lot of depth in there. So, uh, if that's the case, why not just free up those spots and instead we are going for a different formation. Three at the back, we have around seven or eight center backs. And of course, I can still offer some of them if I want to. And this team is going to be a very tough one, uh, even though like you, you can see right there, the rating has been pretty much, uh, yeah, Valent uh, Val Valentin. You know what, guys, I'm just saying, I want to just apologize in advance. This is Spanish League. I never taken Spanish course before. And uh, in terms of the pronunciation of Fabacher, I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying my best here. But I know this is going to be a, uh, a tough career remote to do. And right there, we lost two uh, preseason game in a row. And of course, not really, I don't really care about the preseason, which is totally fine. And right here, we receive an offer for Ruben uh, Poledo. And of course, uh, with a 570k, of course, at this point, yeah, you know what? I've been stuffed with all my center backs. Why not offload some of them? And I, I know arguably I can offload players who are very old. And at the same time, you guys did catch up uh, early on with the squad hub. There are a lot of players contracts are uh, upcoming, are, are about to expire within the season. And at the same time, a lot of them are, I, I think maybe three players are retiring at the end of the season. So by next season, it is going to be, the, the squad depth is going to be very, very thin. And at this point, I really do hope that in terms of the um, Youth Academy, everything is going to plan out for sure. And Juanma, we receive an offer for him, 38 euro, 69 rated. And at that point, you know what? He he is not going to stay for a long time. He's not going to stay for the next season. Why not just offload him for, for some money? And right here, we have a bunch of money. And the first player that I think of is actually uh, Robot. 
uh, Navarro playing at Real Sociedad B team and of course currently he is 68 rated 19 euro looking very good here and of course right now we are converted to a cent uh, a, a, a cam in the middle so why not sign a bright young stars bright young Spanish stars like him who can actually fulfill the role playing every day for us you know what we have uh, we probably have cup games as well if I if I didn't mistaken and of course, we don't have European football, which is completely not the case. But this team is about building the team. And of course, the, the, the average of the age of this team is very, 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 very high. And of course, I'm sorry about the ambulance right, right, right outside of my window. But yeah, he fits perfectly into our model, which means he will be playing at Cam, which means I'm moving to Gonzalez from Cam all the way to center, center mid. And of course, I'm still trying to learn a uh, player's name here and there. So we have uh, A. Conte, uh, Abu Bakery, Conte. I'm gonna just call him Conte. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna degrade their name for some reason. But we receive a lot of uh, transfer offer for our center backs. But again, some center backs, for example, Alejandro Sotilos, is probably one of the best ones that we have in the team. And of course, I have no clue or no way of selling him at this point but you know what at the same time we have to make money and by the time we reach august we receive a couple of players not saying they were like really good but potentially uh potentially playing for us as well and looking right here i have decided to make the uh, make make the range a little bit uh better or easier not that biased and of course the two bright youngsters that we are seeing right here is uh Stronad, I think that's how you pronounce his name, the striker from Slovakia, and also Endo uh, from, I believe, uh, Cameroon, I believe, Cam uh, Cameroon or Ganya. Both of them looks pretty good, but then their overall is slightly low. And of course, Victor Stronad right there is going to uh, going to be promoted, which is fantastic. And at the same time, Charles Endo, he is going to be converted into a center back. Well, thank God it's going to take him around two weeks to do that because honestly i don't know how he would do in terms of uh converting a left back to a center back it might be tough for him but right here we caught up the first youth player right here but of course unfortunately he does not have a showing great potential a uh, tag right there but it doesn't matter as long as you know what we develop them uh, at like what to 60 65 rated which i would say very very good but Charles and do right there within basically within two weeks he is already a center back right now and of course right now he is still kind of under age of 15 can't really call him up yet but once he turns 16 he is going to be in my squad immediately replacing whoever is playing on our left center back and right here, we are going to play our first game in the La Liga Smart Bank division right here against uh, Tenerife. And it is going to be, of course, I don't know any of the team or I don't know any of the other teams. So I don't have any, um, any input in terms of that. But you know what? There's one thing I realized is that if a team does not have an official stadium you can actually design the stadium so of course you can see the stadium's name is called Est uh, Estadio uh, Fernando Torres I believe or Fernandez Torres apparently I, I don't know th the name behind it but of course I'm trying to keep it a little bit realistic in terms of the uh, in terms of the stadium and at the same time you can actually design how the grass gonna look like like you want a circular pitch you want of di like diagonal like square cube shape pitch i don't know what i just said there but you know you guys know what i mean and of course the same time designing the colors of the stance and also the goal net honestly these fixtures uh, these um these features are quite nice and i actually love that as well but of course i would prefer some kind of a very old school goal post which is more of a, a slender or a yeah slender a smaller goal you guys know what i'm talking about this one is way too uh rectangular and um and yeah and right here oh the first goal we score it's actually our oldest player and at the same time i believe he is our vice captain tachi he is 37 year old and i believe he is retiring at the end of the season currently his pace is only 46 so i gotta be careful with that in terms of uh in terms of getting run over by one of one of the opposition players and right here we score the second goal right here a pretty easy tap in and this is i believe is baldini 
Uh, I forgot where he's from. I think he's French, I think. Baldini uh, scores the second goal for us, but at the same time, we are trying to fight for the win, for the first win of the season, of course. Um, uh, I kind of accept the fact that if at one point I couldn't get promoted, I'll be actually okay with it. I know it sounds weird, but because I know this team is so far off from getting promoted at this point. So whatever the result I get or whatever the position I get in the end, I'm gonna accept it and I'm gonna do it again. Of course, this this career was all about long haul, staying in for a very long-term project, unlike Arsenal. And right here, 87 minute, a great tap in by Baldini, a good striker instinct, and we scored the final goal of today's game. 3-1 is the final score. A very nice win, I, I, a very nice win in general, to be honest. Like scoring two goals by Baldini, and also the first goal by Tachi, and we are off to our great start of our long-term project and 3-1 against Tenerife and looking at the table right here apparently there's another team uh Girona uh he, of course they got uh, I think they got demoted or they got reg relegated last season and of course we we we, we saw a couple uh, a few more uh, a few more teams that I did back in the Las Palmas Korean mode if any of you guys remember that I did it two years ago right there 16th place and of course they have 22 teams which means by the end of the season there will be 42 games uh, to be played in total so this is going to be a very big big uh, uh, big episode at the same time a very big series as well I know it's not as big as Arsenal but this Korean mode it is going to be fun and of course I want to say th sorry in advance for the thumbnail I've been trying to find a good quality uh, logo or pictures of the team logo. Can't find any of it. So what you guys see, it's what it is. So I uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.